Miss Sonny here from the Collier County Public Library at the headquarters branch where Miss Samantha is going to help me today with our virtual art program. She is going to make hot chocolate bombs. Yum. It's a little bit of a science project and a yummy treat. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Samantha from the Collier County Public Library at headquarters and today I'm going to be making some hot chocolate bombs. I tried this at home and it was really a fun activity to do and good gifts to give to your family and friends. So the things you need is a mold. Um, you could use, if you, this, you need the half um, circles because you're gonna use two of them and attach them together, but you could use any shape or size. Um, they, probably a two or bigger inch. And then some chocolate chips, whichever chocolate chips you want to use. Some hot chocolate, whatever hot chocolate you like. I'm a dark chocolate fan, but. And then you got marshmallow. You could use a lot of different fillings, but marshmallows, peppermint, and these are some gingerbread Oreos. And um, so what I'm gonna do, I melted the chocolate already. I started with 30 seconds and then after, every 15 seconds until it's melted. And you're just gonna add the chocolate to the mold. And then you wanna make sure it's thick enough or you get air holes. It's, for every four molds, you want about a cup of chocolate. If you have a paintbrush or a cooking brush at home, you can use that also. And then you want to make sure that the top is thicker because you'll need that to attach your two chalk, um, two half circles together. And then next I'm going to freeze Put these in the freezer for um, about 10 minutes till they're hard. So I'm gonna go do that. So I took these out of the freezer after about 10 minutes. Um, they should be hard and then you'll kind of take them out carefully like that. And then next, You want to fill. Oh, you want you're gonna fill it with about a tablespoon of hot chocolate, and then whichever filling you want. I already crushed up some of the Oreos, so use about a tablespoon of that. The other side, I'm just gonna add a little more chocolate. So that's, uh -huh. kind of. Oops. And then you close it. And you want to make sure it's sealed together. And then you could either use it right now, or if you're going to use it later, you drink it later, you, you could put it in the fridge. Uh, these were are ones I made before that have been in the refrigerator for a couple days. So I'm going to 
try it with these. Put, put it in here, the bomb in here. And this is the cool science part where you pour the milk, the hot milk. Make sure your milk is hot enough. Sorry, it takes a moment. Oh, well, it's also tilt. See how it's melting in the, the cup? Uh, it's taking a little bit longer because it's kind of tilted. Let me just add a little more. See how cool that is? There's, you got a surprise marshmallows. So, uh, once it all comes together, you could stir it to make sure that all the cocoa and chocolate comes in. And now you have marshmallow hot chocolate and for some, I'm gonna add a little bit of candy cane in there to add some holiday fun to it. And uh, that is your hot chocolate bomb. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and let us know what you think on Facebook and have a nice day.